All right, so here we are, working on the van again. The basic goal this weekend is gonna to be to put the actual flooring in so that I can get started with how I'm actually gonna set this thing up. Uh, and I also wanna to try to get the rain guards on if possible. I'm actually going over to my friend Ryan's house. He's built out a camper van before, so he's gonna give me a hand with the floor installation and figuring all that stuff out. And um, we'll go from there and just see how it all works out. All right, so this is Gideon. He's gonna be our, our cameraman for a little bit today. The first thing we did was finalize the cardboard template I'd originally made. Then we took a trip over to the Home Depot and we picked up two four by eight pieces of plywood. Once we got back, we went ahead and traced the template onto the actual plywood and started cutting it out in hopes that it would fit in perfectly. And the reality is, is it took about three tries. We ended up having to tweak it some, but once we kind of got it where we wanted it, it actually slid in and it was, I mean, it was, it, it, it's about as perfect a fit as it could have possibly been. And does it fit? It fits! Let's go see about this. Sweet. So after the main flooring was in, we took a few scrap pieces of wood and made like a little step up here and went to build out a support area for where the doors were because you know, we'll be stepping in and out of the vehicle there and such. Didn't want to like <laughs> cause any, any issues to it by letting the, the main part of the floor flex and such. So once all that was attached, we threw it in there and it was pretty much good to go. We didn't uh, like officially lash or screw anything down. Um, it's sort of like a temporary because it'll be coming in and out as we're working on it. But for the most part, the flooring's pretty much ready to go. All right, so here's the floor now that it's all finished up. With the way the town and country is set up, the floor, it, it's flat, but there's kind of a slight rise where some of these back seats are here. So I ended up putting this little rise in it in the um, flooring as well. So that way it's nice and flat and level here on this main area. Um, and then it kind of stinks that there's a little bit of a step up, but it is it is what it is. In the back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another piece of wood that kind of covers up because there's some electrical and some other things back here where these seats screwed in. And then I'll probably just put um, a, a rubber mat flooring down here on the bottom. That was Ryan's suggestion, so probably do that and then um, pretty much we'll be good to go as far as floor and then we can start thinking about you know beds and counters and things like that. Now I'm gonna, um, it's funny, I know a lot of people that have lived in vans and vehicles. My uncle lived in a car for a little while, hung out on the west coast and he has installed a bunch of these rain guards and such so I'm gonna run over to his house and see if I can't get his thoughts on how in the world this thing is actually supposed to go on. I don't know how this all works. Before I head over there, however, I'm actually going to go ahead and take the the flooring out. I noticed a slight mistake. When, when the door closes here, this cup holder is rubbing up against this, um, and it's making it where the door doesn't want to close completely. So, trying not to, try not to break the gear in the door. So I'm going to take it out and have to trim this down so that it's a little bit more even with, I mean, you can even see the plastic lining. I guess it kinda, it's kind of slanted in, so I need to kind of match that so the door can actually close all the way. But other than that, I'm really happy with how the flooring has turned out so far. It's a, uh, it looks pretty good, it's pretty sturdy. Might have to add some more support here underneath where the well is, um, and then later we'll come up with how we're gonna do the hatch situation and all that jazz, but yeah, moving right along now. That 3M tape is on the actual paint. All right, works for me. See how that is? Mm-hmm. So, that's how mine were done. Everyone's different to the vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody's different. <laughs> the rain guard stuck on pretty much fine, although it looks like the particular ones I got don't have real M3 tape, which I didn't know about M3 tape <laughs> until today. But M3 tape is what I need to stick this thing onto my van, and it looks like whatever was on these visors I bought on Amazon is not real M3 tape, because um, it stuck really great on one side, but the other side, uh, not so much. So after we attempted to put the rain guards on, my uncle, who knows substantially more about, <laughs> like, just cars in general than me, gave me a quick crash course on what the heck's going on under the hood of this thing, so I know a little bit more now, I, I suppose. I learned a little bit about fuses and where the air filter is, but you know, it'll still be a very interesting video if this thing breaks down out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> well, the uh, ring guards are up. They stuck really well on this side, um, but on the other side, I was having a little bit of issue actually getting them to 
stay stuck on there. I feel like it's gonna fall back off, so I might have to buy a new tape and put them back on. I don't know, it's a cheaper, I guess just a cheaper tape or something. I don't know what it is, but we'll see. They're up there for the moment. Um, there's a little bit of gaps kind of in the areas here, so what I'll probably do is, if I end up, I'll probably wait and then retape them and then put like some, like epoxy caulking there or something just to seal that off, that way rain doesn't seep in the sides here uh, when I'm trying to sleep and stuff. But other than that, I mean, they're all right. The, they, they seem to do fine. I kind of wish they were a little bit longer so that I could roll the window down further, but um, it'll, it'll work for the moment. I guess that about wraps up uh, this particular van video. It's coming along, starting to actually look like something, so we'll be uh, more soon. Yeah.